Olá de novo, bem-vindos a mais um Liga dos Pontos. Hoje é dia de falarmos com outro mentor, um dos mentores que esteve no meu Warrior Camp em 2006 e que me tem, aliás, 2016 e que me tem acompanhado desde essa altura, alguém muito especial, o Grandmaster Michael Lee é oitavo dan de Taekwondo, para quem gosta de artes marciais significa praticamente o topo, é especialista em artes marciais, é árbitro de, de, de Taekwondo, o que significa que é uma das pessoas que aprova ou não aprova quem precisa de mudar de cinto, quem sobe de categoria, digamos assim, desde 2008 que trabalha na área do desenvolvimento pessoal, que é com jovens, que é com adultos, apesar de dar aulas e de influenciar jovens há mais de 46 anos. Portanto, estamos a falar de alguém que tem uma experiência única e que, com quem eu tive o prazer de trabalhar não apenas no meu Warrior Camp, como também nos Warrior Camps seguintes, como também em Portugal, quando ele esteve connosco no nosso campo, a tribo, a tribo Branco. Vamos a isso. Hello, Grandmaster, how are you? Hello, good. Good. Okay, I have a set of questions for you, and we'll okay. have an easy conversation. So, first of all, I remember you, I met you in 2016 in Spain Warrior Camp. I have that image of you like, you'll die. <laughs> and I'll have all that process. I remember the, how grateful I was after that, um, that rotation, that, that module, let's say. Um, it was crazy 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 difficult and hard for me to do it it was magical the result itself and the the feeling i had of respect and 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 I, well it's respect the word basically at the end was huge but this is my vision so the question is how do you remember the crazy portuguese guy in where you came 2006 how do you remember me the first time what's your what's what are your memories on this can you share with me With us, Grandmaster. Oh. Yes, I'm here. I'm okay, talking. Okay, hello again. I'm here. <laughs> okay, did you understand the question? Of course. Okay, so give, of course. Me, give us an idea on your point of view of the crazy Portuguese guy going to work camp in 2016. Go ahead. Yeah, that's why, like you say, he's crazy. He's really crazy, man. <laughs> well, I guess we connect for a reason. Whatever the reason is, it's all for the good. It's all about how we can serve. Just like you, being crazy, being daring, and being able to do crazy stuff in your country is not so far like us doing crazy stuff in camp but that's why we connect and of course uh, in 2016 we were like having that 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 mentor and uh, mentee kind of challenges so that's why uh, in 2017 when an opportunity arise for Sofia to be in Malaysia that's yeah. where we got closer and closer right So this crazy man, so-called, but he's good, you know, he has got a good heart, huge heart, and being able to do things different. As you know, in our principle that we have is that normal stuff. So we need to be doing something abnormal mm -hmm. or crazy in that sense. So at the end of the day, being crazy is not all bad, but being crazy is actually, is good to be there at the end of the day. Meaning is daring enough to do something that is beyond norm and coming out victorious out of from there with a challenge, with the uh, problem that we face. That's it. Everybody is ready for that, you know? Okay. So for those. That's how I, go, go, go ahead. That's how I see this uh, crazy Portuguese guy, you know? And uh, and then we became a uh, good friend. Okay. Now I'm more like a brother. Yeah. I remember, uh, well, you're, you're from Malaysia, right? For those who are listening, you are from Malaysia. I've been with you again 2016 yeah. Spain. I was a mentee, as you, as you said. Um, 2017, we went to, to Enlightened Warrior Training Camp, yes, in Malaysia. 
because Sophia was a student back then. I was a, a volunteer in the team. And I, I remember the crazy way as you, let's say, took us in your home, in your, in your city, showing us things. So the question is, how are things now? Because we are in the middle of this crazy episode, this pandemic thing. How are things in, in, in Malaysia? I think that from all my mentors, you are the closest to China, to, to, to the burning point of the, 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 the starting point of all this. So um, how are things in, in Malaysia, in your country? Uh, one thing I would like to say is that uh, I think uh, we have to stop accusing China being the starting point. Now, it's everybody's uh, hope that this is good for all of us to get over this pandemic. Now, we are lucky to have China who have gone through a massive, massive lockdown where they are talking about close to maybe about a couple of uh, hundred millions of people, whole country got locked down. And we enjoy the benefit of how they do the lockdown. In my country, it's just like the rest of the world. My government is very strict. We actually are on phase four. Phase four. We have extended three times, yeah, first started with two weeks, then another two weeks, then another two weeks, and now this is the fourth one. And very soon, you'll be beginning to open up, you know? So maybe this is a good lesson worldwide for us to learn, to learn something out from it. Like example, this, this conversation that we are going on, you know, is everything is on Zoom, everything is on online. But I think it's a great kind of a wake up call Okay. You know, please, please don't don't be like uh, any kind of a leader. Stop pointing and oh, I want to claim from this person, that person who started all these and all that. You know, no. Take care of yourself at home. Take care of your your countrymen at home. You just got to be be alert. It's just got to be any kind of thing that you got to be to be uh, wary about to update yourself and you know what to do. Right? Life will never be the same anymore with social distancing. Right? It's the same. Every country will be the same. I'm looking at, oh, when is the next time I got to be in Portugal, Spain, Poland? That's where the camp is going to be soon. It's supposed yes. to be now, May, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be my trip time. But it seems everything has been pushed backwards. Or if we ever have it, maybe in the quarter, August, September, October, if oh, it ever cool. happens. What, what, I'm, what I feel and what I'm sharing with the, with the people is that uh, you can see this as a challenge and a problem, or you can see this as a challenge and an opportunity. I mean, it will be always a challenge, but it can be an opportunity, right, for you to grow, for you to center, for you to understand a bit more about your, yourself. Well, about the, 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 your community, about how can we help each other in the same area. So I, I think we, yeah. we share that. It's, it's an opportunity, definitely, if, if you choose so. But um, changing a bit of subject, and since you're okay and your family is okay, which is wonderful, um, what about the, the work you do with, with teenagers and adults, this transformational work you do on Warrior Camp and you, in your camps, in your um, programs? Uh, the question is why? Why are you spending your time traveling the world to help people to grow? What's, what's the point? Um, I'm, I'm trying to understand for all my mentors the why. You know, what's your motivation for doing it? Well, it, you're, you're not a multimillionaire, which means it's not the money itself, but why? Why do you get, get why do you um, go from your country to another country to, to, to help people? What's your focus? To me, I look at it as a mission in life. Okay. My mission is very simple, very simple. I want to inspire the aspiring future younger generation. Okay. And make it a safe haven for all of them to be there so that we hold space for them to grow and we groom them accordingly. 
I can choose always to be home. Yeah, I'm so sorry that I got to postpone or delay the interview a little bit, but because I'm supposed to stay home, but I still did serve the community. Okay. Serve people, the homeless, the needy. They don't have food to eat. The old people, the old folks home, I delivered, not boasting, but I delivered 150 packs of food in my vicinity today. Okay. And we are doing all that. Why? Do we need money for that? No. But it's because we love the community. Putting back. Serving. Uh, in my Buddhism way, perhaps this is one of the best way to earn your boon, your merit. If you ever believe in afterlife or karma. Okay. Yeah, we go across the board. Hindus, Muslims, Buddhists, even a European guy. One month ago, you know, he's from Birmingham. I serve him food. But because he's caught in between, he was on the way to Myanmar. You know what he do? He sleep under the bridge of the highway. What else can we do? We just okay. do whatever we can do for such people. So that people that need support, it's just like the teenagers, they need support. When I was young, I was not given the support. I'm a very good son. Okay. I listen to my mom. My mom tells me, be a good son, because my dad passed away when I was very young, when I was five. Okay. So, I'm a good son, I follow. But a lot of my dreams, I have got to scale down. It's just like, of course, please stay at home. They ask you, please stay at home. But I'm also careful. I dress up properly. I put on the mask. I put on the cap. I put on the long sleeve shirt. I serve people, social distancing, and tell them, uh, please stay where you are. Don't move. I will serve you. And they listen. You know, it's not about boasting that I'm, uh, I'm serving people. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of pictures. I serve Hindus, I serve Chinese, I serve Muslims. It's no more about the race, it's no more about the religion, but it's more on humanity and mankind. That is what we should do. So why not, if you have an opportunity that I could serve you and your community in Portugal, why not? Thank you. I have gratitude for you who thought of me. Right? <laughs> For me, I'm, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. Well, for those, I'm here. For, for those who are listening and, and, and can't relate to that, uh, last summer, uh, the Grandmaster was with us um, working on the summer camp for kids, which means he's done all the stunts and, and things with them <laughs> and helped them to understand how self-control and self-esteem self and... and Self-knowledge is important. So, well, again, it, you've done it for free. I, I, I would love to have some more funds on, on the foundation to, on the nonprofit to, to thank you for that effort. But I think it was a great, great, great first pilot thing in order to, to understand how powerful it is. And for the kids, it was, was wonderful. Um, thank you. Why? Uh, I, it's not the last question, but anyway... When you're training people, and now I'm speaking about adults and warrior camp and in your programs, what's the feeling? Because sometimes, I remember the first time, you were so ahead of me in terms of understanding what, what was the <laughs> emotional process. And, the, you know, it reminds me always the Mr. Miyagi thing, you know, wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Um, for those of you who have no, have, have no idea on this, uh, you have to see the first. Um, the first Karate Kid movie and you'll find the sim similarities be between this gentleman and Mr. Miyagi but what's the feeling because you are so much more um, uh, centered and focused and you have so much more wisdom than us when we are at that point uh, don't you get tired <laughs> of you know again same people same thing, thing same problem same pattern same how do you overcome that if you have it, obviously. 
What's the feeling? Well, I could only say that the feeling is always awesome, you know. Uh, it makes me sharper, it makes me smarter, and I'm also learning from everybody. It's also a huge learning process for me because learning is ongoing. By the time I think that learning is known, not needed, no more, mm -hmm. that's my downfall, a downfall of myself. But meaning, to me, every one person is a new challenge. Every individual is different. How can we make that happen? How like, can we make your day, your day, not mine? Because it's an experience of a lifetime. Remember as what we have said in predicament, you will never forget this day. The yes. day of true. <laughs> it's true. It's a very painful day, I have to say. It was like Oh no, it's a hell. <laughs> but anyway, you, you, I remember the, the feeling at the end was so, so much more, I was so much more in, in control of myself. It's, it's, an, it's a crazy Thank thing. You. So yeah, you. I, I, you're, you're saying that um, before you were not like this. I remember vice champion, very competitive, I imagine, uh, Taekwondo, um, uh, competition uh, what's the event that causes the transition from the you know the the Michael that wants to fight and 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 uh, and um, win and the Michael that's here for service for, for serving us what happened I just want to tell you that actually this is actually martial arts is just only a metaphor a metaphor means it's a method a okay. training method, a strategy, using martial arts to change people's life. If everything is going to be like, oh, no yeah. serious. No, okay. where's the character? Where's the character? You don't need me there. You will have plenty of them. In you have a, you have your Portugal champion world number two. Mm -hmm. in your come from your country, right? In Europe, yeah, against, yeah. Against, you know, yeah. And he's awesome too. He's a lovely young man. But the thing is that it's just the same. They the deliverance of something for the adults is completely different. It's just like how Bruce Lee brought martial arts to the world. During Bruce Lee's time, it's all about fight. It's all about fight. It's all about fight. Then what happened? Then came Jackie Chan. Okay. Jackie Chan is a funny guy. Yes. He did a lot of his a lot of his gymnastics thing and then his splits and all the funny thing and he make you laugh. And then the whole system, the whole world became more jovial. Okay. But he still have a lot of qualities of his martial arts. He's really a super duper man. He's a super, super good man and an actor. So for me, yes, Mr. Miyagi in the past. So I, I would love to have my own image as called Grandmaster Michael. If I could help to transform somebody's life in that sense, why not? Because okay. it's how you interpret it then. The deliverance to 80 people in a room is the same as to one person in a room, or it's just only eight person to the room, right? Mm -hmm. So it all depends on how you interpret it at that moment of time. And it's all about you winning not me it's not about me because i've done not less than fifteen thousand people worldwide just in that. World of small it's things challenging. yeah every day is a good day you know <laughs> if, we, if we said it that way why are you laughing because you think of the good day and it's like of course sure predicament is in my head for the rest of my life <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm laughing because it's a good day for you, that warrior camp exercise, because you are the guy in charge and you're not doing the freaking exercise, okay? Because, yeah, <laughs> if you were the guy doing the exercise, you were crying in pain, as you know. <laughs> but anyway, you, it was yeah, transforming, yeah. definitely, definitely. That's why I, I, yeah. I, I, I usually I, I explain to people that you have, Let's say 
you, you can have a, a, a wonderful TEDx or a wonderful conference and you will learn a lot and well, that's, that's, that's valuable, definitely. But when you do something that is transforming you in a deep way, in a very um, fast way, in four or five days, you are a different person, that's a, a different championship. So, well, it, it, it's why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I've been on both sides, <laughs> training and having my butt kicked by guys like you. I remember the last time in Spain, I saw a guy that was so, so furious that he, he turned to Shannon, I believe. Shannon, for those who are listening, is one of the trainers on that uh, module of, the, of the, the course. And he started to attack chain, uh, Shannon. And, and I remember was just like, I was thinking like, no, no, don't do that. No, no. <laughs> and in 10 seconds, Shannon was like, the guy was in the floor like, Ugh! With Shannon on top of him, like, yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> so, yes, it's, it's always a nice day when you are the trainer. <laughs> well, just to tell you, we have uh, experienced so many of this. We know, we know it's coming. Nobody wants to be a bad guy. Nobody wants to be a bad guy. But you need to a bad guy, drive it very dark, then you will see more light. Yes. You are so fast. You ask your PA, you ask your privileged uh, world, one of the Portuguese most popular uh, uh, trainer that who have been through our warrior camp. Thank you. Right? Yes. You have, one, you, have, you, have, you have worked two together, you know, from, mm. uh, from Lisbon. Yeah, you say that. She's very good and she's very popular. She has gone through our camp. It's yes, good. I Let them tell you. So for, yeah. for, for, uh, to explain to everyone, we're, sp we're speaking about Susana Torres, that I had the honor of serving in, in the last war camp in Spain. She was one of the students and, uh, well, <laughs> we kicked her ass too. So it's like, yeah, um, she's a high performance coach, which means she glide on war camp, obviously. But anyway, it was tough for her, like for everyone. You know that we've done, uh, we cannot uh, say what exercise, but you know the exercise that Marjean does in, on stage? She didn't last warrior camp because of the, the, um, the operation she's done. But uh, uh, Sophia has done the same in Lisbon with, with Susanna. And it was a thousand people, I think, on the audience. And they were like, no, they will kill themselves. And no, it was easy. It was just a warrior thing, just like that. It's a, it's a very powerful exercise we do with the thing that what nobody sleeps at the first time that, wow, they are, no, this is impossible. Um, just to explain this in Portuguese in 10 seconds, um, é um exercício em que as pessoas que quando, quando olham para nós a fazê-lo a primeira vez dizem isto é impossível, não é possível fazer. Nunca vais ter a força necessária para fazer isto, isto vai-te matar. E o que é certo é que nós conseguimos ultrapassar isto. So, Grandmaster, last question. Any suggestions for the Portuguese people, for... For the people around me that is listening to this uh, right now, any, any suggestion on how to overcome the pandemic thing, pandemic monster, let's say this way, any suggestion? If it is to be, it's all up to me. Again, again? If it is, if it is to be, it's mm -hmm. all up to me. Which so, means you are in control of what you can do. You can choose to have a challenge, uh, challenging time or um, uh, an opportunity time. You can choose how to focus on the negative or the positive. It's up to you, right? Okay. Yeah. My, my Buddhism habit from Thailand is called Lumpur Yai. Lumpur Yai is actually, Lumpur is actually like an habit in the, was to talk in Thailand. And he says, one of the best way to earn your boon and earn your merit is serving in such kind of a situation. Yes, yes, yes. I seem to be a bad guy, not listening and not staying at home. But who is going to serve those people who need to be served? Old folks, orphans, homeless, needies, 
Who is going to do that? But I it, pray it, that I have, Yes, understand. I pray that I have strength. I pray that I'm safe. And I pray to the wise one, the universe, and whichever God that you believe in, give us the strength to fight this pandemic. Don't stop and don't start pointing fingers at anybody. You decide what is best for yourself. But if at the end of the day, people can get into it, to fall sick into it, provided you don't die. But if you were to meant to be dead, so be it. You cannot control anything. The wise one up in the universe, mm -hmm. the wise one, the universe decides how long is your longevity. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to do what I need to do. I wanted to do what I need to do. Enough of all, my mom will tell me, don't do that. No, you're not a good son. I say, leave that alone. You know, same thing. My family can come to the stage and tell me that, that if you carry on going and doing this, I think you've got to stay outside. I say, it's fine. No worries. I'll stay outside if you need to. But when I come on back, I clean myself quickly and stay ready. And then only I eat. That's exactly what you've got to learn to take care of yourself. Like I said, Life will never be the same anymore. You have to decide whether you want to take care of yourself or you need somebody to take care of you. You decide what is best for yourself. You decide where is your direction. You decide what is your destiny. It's only my two cents worth. Only <laughs> two cents. Yeah? Just two words, right? <laughs> yeah. Frank Sophia, I love oh, you, Ben. I love your PA. I love your again, team. Again, again, and again. And I love Portuguese people. And I love all the, uh, I love all the Portuguese people. And I love, I, I love Suzanne, I love the White Wolves together with. And I, of course, I love all the Portuguese people. Mm -hmm. And give me a chance. To support you, what I've learned in life from Asia, so that you can learn a trick or two from Grandmaster Michael in Portugal. Okay. Grandmaster, thank you very much for your time and the energy. I think we'll, 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 we'll be soon again together in the next warrior camp, I believe. We have no idea when, but when time comes. Okay? Obrigado. No, you're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank yeah. you.